Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to be learning about a calculus topic called linearization. Here's the big idea. Suppose we have a function and a tangent line at x equals c. When we zoom in, notice how the function becomes locally linear near the point of tangency. The tangent line and the function seem to merge together around x equals c. This brings us to the idea of linearization. Linearizing a function means that we will use a linear function, a tangent line, to approximate function values. To do this, we'll use a linearization equation that we'll derive here. Let's start with point-slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We're going to make some variable substitutions here. Let's call y L of x. Let's call y1 F of c. Let's call m F prime of c. And let's call x1 c. Then let's solve for L of x. That gives us L of x equals F of c plus F prime of c times x minus c. This is the general linearization equation. And this is simply a tangent line in disguise. Here's a diagram that illustrates this idea. L of x is the tangent line at the point c f of c. Let's do an example problem. Find the linearization of f of x equals the square root of x at x equals 4 and use it to approximate the value of f of 4.2. To do this, we'll start with the general linearization equation. L of x equals f of c plus f prime of c times x minus c. f of x equals radical x and c equals 4, so f of c equals 2. f prime of x equals 1 half x to the negative 1 half power, so f prime of c equals 1 fourth. Now we can write L of x. L of x equals 2 plus 1 fourth times the quantity of x minus 4. Remember, this is just the equation of the tangent line at x equals 4. The problem wants us to use this tangent line to approximate the value of the square root of 4.2. So what we need to do is find L of 4.2. When we do the arithmetic, we get 2.05. Now the actual value of the square root of 4.2 equals 2.049, and L of 4.2 equals 2.05. Here we can see that L of 4.2 is a very good approximation of the square root of 4.2. Here I've also shown a graph of the square root of x and the tangent line at x equals 4. As you can see, the tangent line and the graph seem to merge together around x equals 4. And from this viewpoint, it's impossible to see the difference between f of 4.2 and l of 4.2. So here we've shown graphically that the tangent line gives us a good approximation of the curve near x equals 4. Let's do one more example. Find the linearization of negative 8x squared plus 5xy plus y cubed equals negative 34 at the point 3, 2 and use it to approximate the value of y when x equals 3.3. First, I just want to verify that the point 3, 2 is actually on this curve. So we'll plug in 3, 2 for x and y, and we see that we get negative 34 equals negative 34. This proves that the point 3, 2 is on the curve. Next, we need to find dy dx at the point 3, 2. So let's use implicit differentiation to do this. Taking the derivative with respect to x of each term from left to right gives us negative 16x plus 5y plus 5x dy dx plus 3y squared dy dx equals zero. Note that we had to use the product rule on the middle term. Then we need to solve for dy dx when x is 3 and y equals 2. When we do this, we get dy dx equals 38 over 27. Now we can find the linearization equation. Let's start with point slope form. y minus 2 equals 38 over 27 times x minus 3. If we transfer this into L of x form, we get L of x equals 2 plus 38 over 27 times x minus 3. Remember, our goal is to approximate the value of y when x equals 3.3. So what we need to do is find L of 3.3. And that gives us 2.422. So we can conclude 
that when x equals 3.3, y is approximately 2.422. Now, if we want to find the actual value of y when x equals 3.3, we can just plug in 3.3 into the original equation and solve for y. Now, in order to solve for y, we need to solve a cubic polynomial, which is quite difficult to solve by hand. And this brings us to one of the historical purposes of linearization, which was to make it easier to solve for function values by using a linear equation to approximate a more complicated function. But of course, we can just use a calculator now to solve this. And if we do, we get y equals 2.391. We can also find the error between the actual value and the value that we found with the linear function. That would be the absolute value of 2.391 minus 2.422, which is 0.031. Let's look at this scenario graphically. Here we have a portion of the curve shown and the tangent line at x equals 3. If we zoom in, we can see that the tangent line and the curve are very close together at x equals 3.3. So we can use the tangent line to approximate the curve at x equals 3.3. All right, let's summarize what we've learned in this video. Since a tangent line at x equals c is locally linear to a function at x equals c, we can use it to approximate values of the function near x equals c. The general linearization equation is L of x equals f of c plus f prime of c times x minus c. Remember, we can get this from rearranging point slope form and making some variable substitutions. And always remember that this linearization equation is just another way of expressing a tangent line. And that's how you rock calculus!